Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna try to touch on some helpful information on what you can do if your Xfinity Wi-Fi is not working. Now, I'm making the assumption that you've already successfully set up your Xfinity Wi-Fi. If you're looking for a tutorial on how to initially set up your Xfinity internet, I'll have a separate video on how to do that linked down in the video description. This is gonna be for individuals who have used their Xfinity Wi-Fi internet, but it's currently not working. Now, the first thing that I always do when my Wi-Fi is not working is I go over to the Wi-Fi router, unplug the power source, wait about 30 seconds or so, and then plug it back in, let it reboot, and then see if it's working at that point in time. Now, if it's still not working after you reset your router, then what you can do next is head on over to Xfinity.com. That's the website I'm currently at. I'll link this webpage right at the top of the video description. Now, obviously, if your internet is not working, it's going to be hard for you to get over to Xfinity.com. So I recommend doing this on your phone if you can hook into a data tower so that you're not using your Wi-Fi. You can hook in to your mobile internet to head on over to Xfinity.com. Now, at this point, we're going to go over and click this little symbol. It's a Wi-Fi symbol that's here towards the top of the page. And if you have not already done so, it's going to prompt you to log in to your Xfinity account using the email, mobile number, or username that you have hooked in to your Xfinity account, as well as the password, and then click sign in. And then at this point, we're going to go ahead and click on our Xfinity router right in this area. And again, you get to this page by clicking on this little Wi-Fi symbol that's here towards the top of the page. So I'm going to click on my Xfinity router. And then I'm going to go down and click where it says Internet Health and click on this option right here. So we're going to do the test speed to gateway and then it's going to check for outages in the area. And if you have any outages that are in your area, it will detect it or not in this area. And then after that, it's going to test the speed to your gateway. This may take up to about 30 seconds, but it should be a little bit quicker than that just to see what kind of speeds that you're getting towards your Xfinity Wi-Fi router. So for me, I'm getting the speed that I should be getting towards my gateway and there weren't any outages in my area. But if you have outages in your area, you'd be able to detect them here. And if you're not getting anywhere close to what your plan speed should be, then you might have an issue where you're too far away from your Wi-Fi router, the signal isn't good, as well as having a lot of walls or objects that are in between you and your router, which could also affect the connection in that situation as well. So then also what you can do, we're going to go back and click on this little Wi-Fi symbol here that's towards the top of the screen. And then back on this page, we're going to go down and where it says restart your gateway to try to resolve any common connection issues, you can click restart in this area. And it says this process can take up to 10 minutes. I've done this process before and it's usually quite a bit faster than 10 minutes. The last time I did it, it was around four minutes. So take that for what it's worth. And you won't be able to use your home network, of course, during this time while it restarts your gateway and tries to troubleshoot it, but then go ahead and click restart gateway. And that's another way that you can try to figure out what's wrong with your internet. So these are all the steps that I would take if I was having issues with my Wi-Fi not working. Just to do a quick recap, going over to the Wi-Fi router, unplugging the power source for about 30 seconds, and then plugging back in and letting the Wi-Fi router reboot. That's step number one to see if that fixes your problem. If not, go over to Xfinity.com and follow these other steps so that I showed you how you can troubleshoot your router as well as seeing if there's any issues with the health of the connection or maybe the internet being down in your area. These are some other things that you should look into. So I appreciate you guys stopping by. I hope this was helpful. Consider subscribing and I'll catch you back here next time.